Hello everyone. Hope you are doing good. Today I'm going to talk about developing growth mindset in early STEAM education. Growth mindset. Yes, of course, we need a growth mindset. That is very, very important. First, I'm going to talk about the difference between the growth mindset and the fixed mindset. After that, you decide whether you have a growth mindset or a fixed mindset. Then you will get to know, right, I have to come out of this fixed mindset and I have to develop my growth mindset. Then you will realize whether it's growth mindset is good or the fixed mindset is good. So before that, I just give you a small brief. What is growth mindset? Because we always start with the positivity, right? Always the positive is important. You always be optimistic. Then you can do anything rather than starting with the negative. I'm not criticizing anybody, but I'm telling you. All. So when it comes to growth, you are ready to accept the challenges. If you just, just write down these things. If you are ready to challenge, accept any challenges, that means you have a growth mindset. Not only that, one by one you can just write down. You're always ready to accept the failure because you are not, you don't have any fear. You are, you are not fear to fail in your career or maybe whatever the work that you are doing, maybe any projects that you are doing because you welcome the mistakes and you celebrate the mistakes. You are not, you don't have that fear of making mistakes, right? And also you don't give up. You don't give up. You're, you're, you're resilient. You're resilient and you're optimistic. You think it's all for good and your positive mindset. You have full of positivity in your mind. And also you always expect a feedback, a valuable feedback. You're always expecting someone has to say, yeah, you're doing something amazing. I really loved it because that feedback will really encourage you for the growth mindset. So that's what you're always thinking. The feedback is important for your career to come forward. And also, and sometimes you question yourself, is this my best work or do I, can I do more, uh, whether I'm capable of doing more, right? Is this enough for me? You try to question because you need that growth because you're growing like a plant because you're not fixed like a padlock. Padlock, when you fix it, you can't remove that un unless you don't have a key. It's closed. It's not like that. It is open. It's open for everything. And also, and you <clears throat> improve with the practice. You like to do a lot of practices. You keep on practicing. You learn something. You observe everything. You explore the world. You try to do something new. That is innovation. That everything is really, really comes out with the growth mindset. Because you are ready to face any challenges. That is the first thing that you say. You are ready. So... But you don't need to talk about the other things as well as far as you are ready to face any challenges. When you are ready to face, you will feel that yes, you are ready to celebrate the mistakes. You expect a good outcome. You always question yourself whether what is, uh, what, is it correct or do I need anything to be corrected and everything. And when it comes to fix, right, I must be saying, oh, teacher is going like this. That means it's not good. I'm not saying it's not good because you, your belief ability is something different. You think this is enough and also you have that fear that people might say that you are making mistakes uh, and, and you don't like to practice that. Once you are done, you're fixed with that. No, right. I'm done with this. Uh, no, I can't go. I'm, I can't go anymore because age, uh, you think this is my age. I can't continue with my age and the resources that you say, this is this much resources that I have that I cannot continue with this uh, little resources. And you, can, you don't try to question yourself as well like a growth mindset and you give up easily you give up easily and sometimes you think you know the best the people who says that I know the best they are fixed minded they think because I know everything since I know everything, since I can collaborate everything, since I'm capable of doing all these things, uh, I don't need a growth mindset because I'm already fixed. I know everything. Why should I go behind others? Why should I learn more? Why should I practice? So that is a negative thought because every day, day to day, it's what we learned in design thinking. Prototype we are taking from other, uh, not others. We are not copying like I'm saying, but we take uh, from uh, already it's there. 
it's already the product or maybe the service is there we are taking some examples sometimes we are inspired by those characters so some people they since i know the best but they are not ready to accept that they are ready, not ready to practice that and and also they see they want to avoid mistakes they don't want to do mistakes because they think mistake is a biggest mistake right so they think i i should not do any mistake not that they're committing mistake i'm not I'm questioning that because they think because they always see the feedback of others they expect only good outcome good feedback from others actually really that is true because even when we do also we also expect someone to talk something better about us something good about us but we should always be like ready to accept both good and bad because we can't change the people there are different types of people in the world different type of career in the world so whatever we are doing we can't say this is uh, because we can't push the people to say this because we should be able to ready so when it comes to growth when it comes to growth you are ready to face the challenges you are ready to accept anything you celebrate the mistake you appreciate you wait for the feedback and you never give up and you're resilient and you're optimistic when it comes to fixed mindset you try to give up you don't want to have make mistakes you have the fear of mistakes and you have the fear of the feedback and sometimes you are pessimistic and because you don't you, you give up everything and you don't practice properly so those are negative i think growth mindset is something positive and uh, uh, fixed mindset is something negative so why we need growth mindset now you all know it is very clear what is growth mindset and uh, what is uh, fixed mindset is so what is the importance because you know foster a culture of innovation you foster you can see you can see some development in this cultural innovation because you are, you see the progress because a day to day you are practicing something new you learn something new you are ready to accept then you go for a new inventions you become a new innovator and you will be able to solve a problem that is very important when it comes to cognitive critical thinking problem solving decision making according to jean piaget he is always consider that problem solving decision making theory because we should be because it sometimes it can be a instant decision or maybe a long term maybe a short term but you should be able to solve a problem and make a decision because most of the people are lacking that they are unable to make a decision they are struggling in the middle maybe middle of the project maybe middle of their career maybe middle of their life they have so many issues but they are not ready because they don't have their problem solving uh, talent maybe problem solving skills i should say and the challenge actually challenge is opportunity <laughs> sorry challenge is a opportunity because most all, everyone will not get the challenge they are not getting any challenges because once you get a challenge you are ready to face it is an opportunity why we are saying for montessori children primary children youth maybe youngsters we have to provide opportunities for them to come forward and work with them that is very crucial that is very important so challenge challenge i always think challenge is a very good thing and also you will have knowledge advanced to the steam education you can gather a lot of knowledge you can gain a lot of knowledge by doing because your challenge because your it's growing it's not fixed it's growing one by one day by day gradually your mind is growing then what you are having you are gaining your knowledge you will be expert in your field because you're practicing and and also you try to do your best and you try to set a goal you set a goal and you work towards the goal and you run behind the goal finally you achieve your goal so that is what if you have a growth mindset because you go behind the goal and you finally you say yes and also you become resilient you become resilient you accept everything and you become optimistic and you will have the curiosity because you love to learn you love to do you have love to practice everything then you will have indirect in these are the indirect perceptions that you gain through this growth mindset and also uh, 
you celebrate now when you uh, and not only hard work not only hard work and uh, hard work you know like you can't gain anything without working hard so that is uh, it's in the growth mindset because you always put that in your mind i should work hard i should do something i need the hands on experience i should be able to solve this problem everything will come into your mind when you have a growth mindset when you are fixed you won't be able to do anything and when you have a growth mindset you focus on your improvement you focus on your improvement you always go for your success like i said you run behind your goal you set a target you are you become so ambitious because you are working towards something because you have a target you have set a target you are working towards that because then you will have compassion about the others you prioritize everything and you target everything then you try to collaborate with the people and you learn a lot of things like i said before if you have a growth mindset you are always be motivated you motivate yourself because you think that i should be motivated i should do something because already you have a goal and you are working towards that and and you practice and you become so resilient and also you analyze the mistake and remember to be a role model you need good attitudes attitudes are very important because if unless you don't have a good attitude you can't be a growth mindset that when you can't have a growth mindset you should have a good attitude because in design thinking we spoke about empathizing emphasizing everything and unless you don't have a good attitude towards human being or maybe your society maybe your children then you will have a growth mindset definitely good attitude it is also a one important thing when it's come for design thinking and also you get the lots of experience and on experience you collaborate with others and uh, <clears throat> you develop your social emotional skills that is true because you know you are working with others you try to respect everyone you uh, uh, respect others feelings socially emotionally you are strong uh, you know you, the importance of uh, how you handle the people and how you work with them when you organize a project or when you organizing any program you always talk, think about empathizing about the others and that everything that you have when you have a group growth mindset unless you don't have a growth mindset it is very difficult for you because you're fixed you are not resilient you don't have a goal you are not ready to accept the challenges so that will definitely lead to a problem because lots of because you become so pessimistic because that is uh, i'm not saying pessimistic is a negative thing because sometimes you think it's okay never mind but sometimes it gives you some positive vibes too but i'm saying you don't you don't become resilient because you are not ready to accept the challenge so after all doing listening to this important growth mindset and fixed mindset what's your plan what are you going to start and what are you going to stop you all have any idea pause for a moment and think what's you are going to start right what you are going to stop what's your plan i think just you all can think what your plan in to start that means you are going to set a target you can you are ready to face challenge you are going to set a target you become so ambitious if you are fixed mind state definitely stop stop thinking that it's all it's happening to me right go beyond the practical go behind the practical things celebrate the mistakes see the outcomes and integrate manipulate everything and you learn a lot of things right because and also praise everyone for they are maybe it's good maybe it's wrong i'm not saying praising wrong thing is a good thing i'm not saying to say that you have to praise whatever people do but at least appreciate them let them make mistakes let them correct with their mistakes not only for this is not only for human being i'm saying not only for the early years not only for the youth not only for school children it is apply we can apply this to anyone even you are old you think that you need a growth mindset definitely it's there it's it's open for everyone come out with that fixed mindset 
we will remove the padlock we we'll remove the padlock and we grow like a plant we grow like a tree because you know when you see a tree they uh, they're ready to accept both wind sun air rain everything but they become more stronger and stronger so we need a growth mindset that is very important for everyone i think when we become resilient we become more practical and we start to think everything in a positive way because we are ready to celebrate the mistake i hope it is very clear and i'll catch you with another episode thank you